Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another creative tutorial. Today we're working with animation transitions. I'm going to show you why this part of design is so crucial to driving engagement and how Lottie makes manipulating animation transitions super easy with triggers. So the template page we have right now demonstrates three types of triggers. We have a loop running with the hero animation, and then we have a loop on hover with the Bitcoin icon, and a hover with the Android. As you can see the difference, the hero is running continuously, the Bitcoin icon runs continuously, but only when we hover the mouse uh, over the animation, and then the Android runs one time when we interact with it. So each are <clears throat> crucial types of triggers. Um, I could show you how they look in the code on the Creative site. Uh, you can make changes either to the, um, with the radio buttons, and then you'll notice the change shows up in the code under the per, uh, trigger parameter. And we can also make changes directly in our HTML. So we'll go to our code editor and this is our create embed. We've pasted into the animated icon section. So you can see this is the Bitcoin icon. It is on a loop on hover. And then this is our Android and the trigger is set to hover. So if we want to come in and set this to loop, it's that easy to fix. Um, maybe we want to do loop on, or just to hover we can save back into Chrome, refresh, and our Android is running on a loop now. And then the Bitcoin is running on hover. So these are the three most important types of triggers. You can also choose morph, but this is more of an advanced parameter. Um, you'd want to use morph when you're like, for instance, taking an animation and moving it on the page or making it smaller or making it bigger. Um, we're going to stick with these three loop hover and loop on hover. Um, so. If you wanted to test to see which of these would be best for a specific section on your website, the best way to test is through A-B testing. So say for instance, we build this hover or this uh, hero section, and we want to test to see which gets us the most engagement on these buttons. So we could run it for a month. <clears throat> maybe we get a hundred users, maybe a thousand users visit the site. And then we can see how many people click the get started button or the learn more button when it's running on a loop. Then we can come in, make the change. Um, it just takes just a second and you don't have to be a web developer. Don't have to be a motion graphics designer. It's super simple. You don't even know, need to know how to write HTML code. Okay, we'll save back in Chrome. Okay, and now the change, it's on loop on hover. Then we can run this and uh, see if we get more conversions, more clicks. Um, if we just get more engagement out of this section, the better. And then we can choose to use either loop or loop on hover and then further um, optimize the web page. Um, one of the benefits of using Lottie is we can make these changes so quick, uh, just directly in the code, and um, <clears throat> the animations run smoothly because everything is JSON-based, and um, our changes are in JavaScript rather than manipulating the animation file. So thank you for watching another creative tutorial. Make sure you subscribe um, so you don't miss any more. We have tons of videos on how to implement Lottie animations with all the popular web builders. 
Thank you and tune in next time. Bye.